Please subscribe math.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. We are going to discuss a very important topic of the matrices that is the determinant of matrices. We will discuss the determinant of a 2 into 2 matrix. If you are given with a certain matrix, let's say let A be any square matrix. Keep one thing in your mind that determinant is possible of only a matrix that is a square matrix. That is a matrix, matrix having number of rows equals to the number of columns. Then its determinant will be den denoted by A and like this. This is the representation of the uh, determinant. How you can represent determinant of a matrix. And it is defined as, as mathematical expression, it is defined as A determinant is equals to write DET of A, that is determinant of A equals to DET, write determinant, then the matrix, let A be any, as we have already um, uh, assumed that A be any square matrix, so that matrix is this A. B, C, D. This is a general matrix. We have not specified the elements here. So now we see how you can find the determinant of, of our 2 into 2 matrix. If you are given with the matrix like this, you can find its determinant by multiplying the elements in this way. Cross multiplication. Okay. Then you can write as A into D is AD and the sign between them will be the minus ad minus bc okay and it will give you with a uh, with any real number that is lambda this is any real number okay so determinant can be found by multiplying the elements in this way and then subtracting the pairs and to get the, the single real number that, that after out of these four elements we have got a single number by finding the determinant so this is how you can find the determinant and one thing keep in your mind that the matrix should be a square matrix. Let's have an example how you can find the determinant. Example is if you will be given with a matrix like A is equals to 2, 5, minus 3 and 4. How you will be able to find its determinant? Let's see. What you have to do first we will write it in the determinant form as a determinant okay and the, the matrix will also be in the determinant form as 2 5 minus 3 and 4 you will put the bars around it and then we will find its determinant multiplying them as like this then what we will get 2 into 4 2 multiplied by 4 minus minus 3 into 5 minus 3 multiplied by 5. What will be the answer? 4 into 2 is 8 minus minus 3 into 5 is minus 15. Then 8 plus 15 is equals to 23. So we have got a real number. Okay. So this is how you can find the determinant of our 2 into 2 matrix. Now this determinant is very important as we have we can easily find out the singular and non-singular matrices for finding the inverse of a matrices. How? Let's see that based on the determinant of a matrix, how you can identify a singular and non-singular matrices. So the singular and non-singular matrix, first we will uh, see how it is defined. First we have a singular matrix. A singular matrix is defined as a square matrix is called singular matrix if its determinant is equal to zero. That means that the if the let's say we have a matrix A and we have found its determinant and we get a real number that is equal to 0, then it is called a, a singular matrix. Okay. For example, let's see uh, how you can uh, say a given matrix is a, uh, is a singular or not. For example, we have A is equals to a matrix 2, 0, 5, 0. Let's find its determinant to check whether it's singular or not. Its determinant will be, we'll multiply them as 2 into 0 is 0, 
minus 5 into 0 is 0. What we will get is 0. This means that the given matrix is a singular matrix. So, if a matrix has is a, is a square matrix and its um, determinant is equal to 0, then it is a singular matrix. Now, what is a non-singular matrix? It is defined as, non-singular matrix is defined as a, a matrix that is a square matrix, that is must be a square matrix and its determinant is not equal to 0. That means, we can say that if we have a matrix like this, its determinant must not be equal to 0, then it will be a non-singular matrix. For example, we have an example of non-singular matrix as A is equals to 1, 2, 5, 6 and if we find its determinant what we will get is 1 into 6 is 6 minus 5 into 10 is 5 into 2 is 10, 6 minus 10 is minus 4. So, minus 4 is not equal to 0. So, it is called a non-singular matrix. It means on the basis of the determinant of a matrix you can add, you can um, classify a matrix as a singular and non-singular and on the basis of these singular and non-singular matrix we can find the inverse of our matrix that we will discuss in our next lecture. For the time being just, just have the concept of the singular matrix, non-singular matrix and determinant of the matrix. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.